you guys to know that this video is going to be longer than normal. I hope you guys have a great time watching this video because this set has taken me a very long time to build. So, let's get into the video. Hello guys, Low Show TV here and the day has finally come for me to review this set. I made sure that I have everything correct in the set before I got it done. And once I have it done, it's all complete. There's no mistakes here. I have finally gotten it completed after all this time. This is the largest LEGO Marvel Super Hero set I have ever built. And by far, it is one of my favorite sets that I have ever gotten in all my time reviewing sets on this channel. And I am very excited to review it for you guys. It is larger than the LEGO Ninjago City Gardens. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is at 76178 with 3,772 pieces, ages 8 plus. This is the Daily Bugle assembled from the Spider-Man universe. Here is the back of the box with the features of the set. So here is the first level of the Daily Bugle. Let's take a look at it. This is the worst part of the set to do. The Daily Bugle sticker right there. You have a checkerboard pattern leading into the sliding window. You have a fire hydrant. You have some potted plants there. And if you can see my hand here. If you can see my hand there. There is a sliding door. All right, so there's a cool functionality to this part of the build. Now, this was very frustrating for me to get in place there. So I'm going to be very careful how I do this carefully. I'm going to plop it out with my hand. You can see the rock part of the wall it is blown out. It is now blown out. And you can see that there is now a giant chunk in the wall. You can see some boxes and the rat that saved Scott Lang's life. You can see right here that there is a air vent with a bird on top. You have a door leading outside with a sticker on it where my hand is pointing. You have a spider web and two trash bins. Got a barrel and a couple of more bins there. And you have a newspaper stand. We have a sticker with Morbius the Living Vampire on it. And then we can see a door which is a fire exit. And we have a soda machine there. We have the place where I blew out the wall from earlier. We have a few newspapers with some chairs in front of them. We have a desk, some newspapers on the wall, 
And something that I find very funny throughout this whole build is the fact that there's an elevator that doesn't actually open. Now the first glass window that goes on the floor above the first level. First Easter egg is vote for Norman Osborn for mayor. We have just the facts. Clone epidemic out of control. Is Spider-Man to blame? Dr. Kirk Connors, Dr. Miles Warren, and Scarlet Spider. It says earlier today breaking. Villains promise to stop being bad guys. Can they be trusted? With a picture of Mysterio, Doc Ock, Sandman, and Green Goblin. This is the second level of the Daily Bugle. You can see a balcony there. You have a sticker right here and under it it says Spider-Man finally unmasked. Looks like a Starbucks coffee right there and a coffee mug right there. We have a desk back there. It has a nightlight a printed keyboard piece which is also used two more times on this level and a computer with some newspapers stacked up aside it there's a random bucket also a desk with some more computers and TV screens got a stack of papers that says no crime there you have a water dispenser and a continuation of the elevator and a little green bottle beside the water dispenser also have a dessert area with a few donuts a coffee machine and then a cup to put the coffee in you have a few papers on the wall here we have some glass and then if we turn it right here we have some more glass if you weren't tired of this much glass in a Lego build, here's some more glass. Also, we have some ladders to escape out of. We have some glass. We have more glass. More glass with a ladder escape that goes throughout the build onto the next section. Taking a look at the window of the next section of the Daily Bugle, we have a very cool reference to Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man 1 when the Green Goblin bursts through the window looking for Spider-Man and he questions J. Jonah Jameson. And if you didn't know, there's enough pieces that you can fix the window to be normal, just like the other windows in the set. Here is the next part of the Daily Bugle. This is Peter Parker's office. You can see a sticker of Spider-Man there and a desk for him to sit at with a phone there. Do you have any idea what that is with the yellow tiles? I would like to know. You hardly ever notice this door if you didn't turn it around. If you didn't turn this build around at this section, I don't know how many of you have seen Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man movies, but you guys who have may catch the reference to the pizza time scene with the pizza box. Then on the right there, you can see a copy machine. Then back on the filing cabinet next to the pizza box, you can see a camera to take pictures of Spider-Man. Then down from that looks to be some more newspapers. Have the elevator that goes up one more time and then you go into J. Jonah Jameson's office. And we have glass and we have some more glass and that door that leads into the copy room there. And we have some more escape ladders that lead to the top of the build. As you can see, this is the last glass pane for the Daily Bugle. And each section of glass has a white staff. It looks pretty cool. Here's the buggy on the side of J. Jonah Jameson's office. Now it's time for J. Jonah Jameson's office and the roof can see where he sits there in that blue chair and it says on that stack of papers on the very top daily bugle 
reward for photos of Spider-Man. Then on the right next to his chair is a drawer and it has a few things on top of the drawer and it has a coffee mug, some rewards, a rock of some type and on his desk there is also in the middle a printed keyboard and a computer screen that says Peter Parker at web you're fired guess what we have some glass and we have some more glass and we have a bird in a nest on an air vent so the reason it is standing up like it is is there are some blue studs that it's supposed to attach to when the building is in full and it doesn't always want to stay attached so that's why it's like that and the sticker says just the facts with J. Jonah Jameson. On a sticker here you can see a picture of J. Jonah Jameson reporting the news. We have the last section of glass there and there's some glass behind the last section of escape ladders. You can see that there's another printed keyboard there and on the computer screen is another sticker. It says Miss Call E. Brock or Eddie Brock. Elevator time. You can see the division between J. Jonah Jameson's office and the lobby. There's just a door and a couple windows there. A good look at the sign there. Here's a good look at Firestar when she's all powered up. Here is the clear piece holding Firestar up. And a good look at the Daily Bugle Tower there. There's a sticker there. And then if we go up here, there's a sticker of Miles Morales and the Green Goblin on this water tank. Twenty-five minifigures. That is a lot for me to review in one video. So what I'm going to do for the purpose of this video is to divide them into sections. We have the civilians and the daily bugle workers. Then we have the heroes. Then we have the villains. We're going to start off with taking a look at the civilians and the Daily Bugle workers. Then we're gonna take a look at the heroes and then the villain. The first section is divided into civilians and Daily Bugle workers. You may have noticed that I included Peter Parker because he is in his casual suit and he works at the Daily Bugle. So it just makes a lot of sense. You can see all of their faces there and their torso detailings. Sadly, no leg detailings there. Here is a good look at them all from the front. And now we're going to get a closer look at their faces. what all of them look like from the back. Now we're moving on to the hero section. 
All right, so we have the hero section here. We have Spider-Man, Daredevil, Spider-Ham, Miles Morales, Blade, Punisher, Firestar, and Spider-Glen. Now, let's get a closer look at them. may notice that Punisher and Firestar have double-sided faces and you can see all of the other characters back torso detailings now on to the villain section In the villain section we have Black Cat which is making her Lego debut in this set so that's pretty cool hopefully we get more of her in the future then we have Carnage which we have seen before, Green Goblin, which we have seen before, Sandman, which we have seen before, Venom, which we have seen before, Doc Ock, we have definitely seen before, he has new tentacles for this set, and then we have Mysterio. Now, we're going to get a closer look at them. Alright, since Sandman here is on a sand tornado build which is meant to be ripping apart the street around the daily bugle i am taking a look at him in this section of the video away from the other villains because the sand tornado is so big and the cool thing is about this build is there are two points of movement here we have very carefully the ability to move him forward and around from side to side and like I said forward not so much backward but side to side and forward so that's pretty cool there you can see what he looks like from the front there's what he looks like from the back this is the same torso and tornado leg piece as a sandman figure that we got at the start of the year in a spider-man 4 plus set the only difference here is the face and the hairstyle the color of the hair is the same it's just the way it looks so that's pretty cool here we have three different Doc Ox you may notice the main difference on the one on the right is because he has more of the Spider-Man animated series Alfred Molina type look to him and then the middle one comes in the Daily Bugle, and then the one on the right comes in the Spider-Man Monster Truck vs. Mysterio set. Let's take a closer look at all of them. brought out the other two for comparison they all three have their disadvantages 
and I really still like the one that came in the Spider-Man Monster Truck versus Mysterio even though in the review of that set I said they were very flimsy and they are I just don't know what is causing that it's just the same minifigure as the one with the Daily Bugle just with different tentacles here we have the rest of the villains we have Green Goblin, Black Cat, Mysterio, Carnage, and Venom let's get a closer look at them I have a question for you guys. Which minifigures out of all of the 25 minifigures in this set that I have reviewed in this video is your favorite? Whether it be from the civilian slash daily bugle workers or the heroes or the villains. Tell me which ones you like the most and what group they're from in the comment section below and we have at least two more things to go over and then we can go to the ratings for the set let's go taxi somebody call a taxi here's a sticker you can see a sticker there a sticker there and then there's a sticker like the one in the front like I said earlier, this is your normal New York taxi like you'd see in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man films. And for a Lego build, they did a pretty nice job. Here is the spider buggy. You can attach it to the side of J. Jonah Jameson's office building. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So, it's just a very basic buggy. You can see what it looks like from the front with that one sticker there and you have a sticker right there have some throttles right there have a sticker right there like on the other side I think you guys know without a shadow of a doubt what I'm going to rate this set I'm going to rate this set a 10 I hope you have enjoyed this video there was a lot of good minifigures in this set. We got a new designed Doc Ock. And I thought that was pretty cool. We have several minifigures that I didn't think that we would see. We have a Punisher minifigure now. That's really cool that we have Punisher now. Daredevil and Blade. I never saw those three coming. And then... Black Cat, I saw her coming at some point. I just didn't see her coming anytime soon. But I knew they would probably make her at some point. So that's really cool that they made her all six Sinister Six members. Even though I already had all six of them. Plus Hydro Man. And 
We got a new J. Jonah Jameson and some of his Daily Bugle workers. And a new Aunt May and a new Peter Parker. Which is all very cool. So once again, I am going to give this set a 10. I think you guys knew without a doubt that I was going to do that. So if you have enjoyed this video and you want to see more from me, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'm sorry that this video took so long. This build, this build has really challenged me and I'm glad I built it. So if you have enjoyed, once again, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.